Welcome back guys, Automotive Inc. here. So we just uh, wrapped up a um, nice weekend up here in the mountains. And let's tell you what we did. So, so far we did 186 miles. Uh, I would say 90% of that was towing. Um, we did run about uh, 22 miles down to check out another campsite for the future reference. And then we also did uh, stop and fill up with fuel. Um, so, so far, um, we're waiting here at the uh, El Dumpo Camp Station. And uh, we averaged, let's see here, if I remember looking back. So far, I'm not going to reset it because I'm going to do the whole trip, but nine and a half. Um, so, throughout that, we did... Um, two passes. So we did Eisenhower, which isn't really a pass necessarily, but it's like the Continental Divide split, um, which is not the toughest tour, uh, tow, but it is, it is, it is what it is. Um, and we got, that is at 11,100 some odd feet and then Fremont Pass, which basically as soon as you come up into Copper Mountain, it's just a straight climb. And so I know that I always talk um, about the great things the Chevy did, and it did really good. However, it did meet its, mat, uh, its match when it came up, the uh, started going up Fremont Pass. There was a heavy haul, extra wide load truck that was blocking most of the road, so we are also down to about 20. And again, it was it's 11,300 feet above sea level, so it was just a straight climb. The We had the trailer loaded, gens, scooters, rafts, water, food. I think we were probably pushing probably 15 um, with just everything in it in the truck and everything um, so about 15k and once he got into the passing lane we were able to jump over and actually get past him but 45 was it that truck was all in that was there was nothing left for it to give um, there was no shifting it was 4500 to 5000 rpm um, straight up um, but like I said that being said I think if I remember right, it was like eight and a half, nine. I'll do a follow-up video when we get home because we're going to go back up and over both these uh, long runs. And I might videotape some of the gauntlet, some of the Fremont Pass, and see if I can stitch them together for you guys. Really pretty country. Um, but again, all in all, most people aren't towing this much, period. Uh, in the campsite this weekend, most of the stuff I saw was campers being pulled by half tons. Um, they're the long tow-behinds. Uh, only one of their fifth wheel and it was pulled by an old Hemi, but, uh, it was a small one, but nonetheless, guys, the truck did really good, but it did meet its match to this weekend. And again, most of the people that are going to be towing less, you're not going to have any issues because again, the speed limit was 45. So there's no reason to even sweat that. Um, and, uh, we were never in, uh, anybody's way. We were never a road hazard. We were never in danger. The engine braking did well. With this much weight, we did have more applications coming out of the west side of the uh, Eisenhower Tunnel, um, which is to be expected. But I did use the, the shifter this time because I just wanted to see if it made really a difference. I didn't feel like it made any better difference over using cruise control, but I just locked it down to fourth gear and it would creep up to about 60, which for us at 65 is the speed limit. And um, then I applied the brakes. So we had a couple more, even with all that weight. Uh, the truck just handles really, really good. Um, we got that oil change done. Checked the oil we got up here. Obviously, I didn't expect any oil consumption, but I always check my oil. I don't care if it's new or old, I check it. Um, but uh, yeah, I mean, the, the truck did excellent. So the, everybody out here that thinks they need a diesel to pull an 8,000 pound tow behind, um, I don't believe so. Again, always do what you see fit. Um, but Kong, again, did conquer it. Um, did really well and we will see how it finishes out the weekend fuel economy everything like that final mileage um, overall and we'll let you know if we have any more problems guys down there in the corner is the subscribe button smash that for me hit the like button and uh, we'll see you on the next one guys